Hey everyone, I'm Armory Gaming. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to part two of the Marquis de Flambe exclusive first look video. So hopefully you saw the last video where I took this monster out at level 100. I always like to use a monster at level 100 and then rank them up because I know not all players are actually going to be able to get this monster ranked up. But anyhow, if you saw the last video, it's funny because I even gave him level 3 runes, which every player can get, level 3 life runes, and I showed how he could dominate battles. So once again, I want to give a huge thanks to Soldier Point for giving me the monster, for giving me the monster cells, the gems to speed up, and all the food to feed him all the way to 130. So with that being said, I am going to go level by level, rank by rank, that way you guys can see the stats at each individual level, and then at the end, we're going to do some PvP battles. I am allowed to do PvP battles, however, I have to lose the battles, because it would be completely unfair for me to win with a monster that hasn't officially been released yet. So at level 105, his power increases to 3829, his life stat 41876, and his speed stat is now 3634. At 110, his power increases to 3996, life stat 45939, and speed stat 3792. At rank 3, his power increases to 4162, life stat 50192, and his speed stat is now 3950. And at rank 4, level 120, his strength is 4329, life stat 54633, and his speed stat has broken the 4000 barrier, 4108. And now let's rank him up together to the final rank, level 130. Yes, I'm sure. And here we go, he is officially at max level, so we're going to level him all the way and check out his new stats. At level 130, this monster boasts an impressive 4662 strength stat, 64,083 life stat, and 4,424 speed stat. So great, great stats all around. And again, even at level 100, really great stats. So I put a poll up and I asked you guys to comment below in the previous video, what runes do you actually want to see on this monster when he's fully ranked up? And I got quite a few answers. I had some people say all team speed because let's be honest, if you have a main denier and you have this monster with team speed, the denier can go deny when this monster gets its turn in he can just activate his dot's and he has a lot of dot's i saw some people say two strength and a speed two strength and a team speed some people said this monster doesn't need any life runes whatsoever because he has a high tanky life which is completely accurate so there's there's a lot right you have to take into consideration what is the enemy attacker going to mostly have if you're facing a voltic a xyla if you're facing a charmless they're probably running one strength rune now given the fact that mutant runes exist now there are some there are some variabilities now. I've seen players run like one single speed with 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 two strength and then everything is a stamina mutation. So there's there's ways to work around certain stuff. But what I'm going to do for the purpose of this video because I think what the majority of what I saw was a level was was strength runes and I actually realized I don't have any level 10 strength runes. So we're going to use this power and life level 7 once again capitalizing on the strength aspect while also capitalizing on the fact that you can still increase his life stat if you happen to have a mutated rune. So I will do that, and I will also, give me one second everyone, what should I give him? I should give him, so I can do team speed or I can do single speed. I'm going to go ahead and do single speed, and then I'll just do my other mutated rune. So even without using an individual life rune, I'm still able to up increase his life stat just a little bit. So, well not just a little bit, almost 9,000 points. So not necessarily the best runes, but you're still going to get a good idea of essentially the power he can do. The next thing we're going to do is give him relics. So again, you can give him an oblation trap, which I definitely really recommend. And then the sword, it really, really varies. And you can just give him whatever you need to. So for example, if, I'm, if I have an ally that I know can apply freezer stun and I want to give my monster extra armor, bam, the ice breaking greatsword. If I have a Jakugan sword and I want to deal extra damage, give him a Jakugan sword. If I know the enemy, if I, if I know I can possess the enemy monsters, we'll drain some extra stamina. So the sword completely depends on the team combination you're going to run him with. So I think this might come in handy for me. So I'm going to run the soul shattering sword. And as for the trap, let me get an oblation trap on him. And the oblation trap really is a great relic to put on this monster, especially when you're taking on extra turn monsters. While yes, I could eliminate them. Yes, I could apply DOTs. The, the, thing, the good thing about the oblation trap is that when you do fall below 50%, you're draining stamina from all of the enemy monsters, including the enemy allies. So that could prevent them from potentially denying you, from potentially hitting you with something really strong. So with that being said, now is the time to do PvP. Once again, I am allowed to do PvP, however I have to throw the matches, because it would be unfair for me to actually win. Now the question is, who do I want to take on necessarily? As much as I want to take on the Volts, let me try this high level 130 base, considering I did give some really good runes to my monsters. And we'll click fight. Let's, ooh, let's not auto, let's change the speed to times 2 speed, and let's see what happens. Got hit with the Ruby Explosion, all my monsters got denied. Okay, that's fine with me. Raging Thunderstorm. 
group therapy, immunity to dark, total exhaustion, lost all of my stamina. Okay, that's fine with me. Lane odds. Okay, Tiger Trap kicked in. And I finally got a turn in, but I have no stamina to do anything. And this is where this is this would have been a good example of where maybe a team speed built on my Marquis would have been a little better because that could have potentially given me the speed I needed to be able to go before the enemy Ruby. But again, it all depends on yeah, this battle isn't gonna go well, and I'm probably gonna lose, which is fine because I want to lose. But th the whole point is like when you bring a monster into battle, you have to make sure. Ooh, maybe this will work. Nope. You have to make sure you're bringing them in with a proper purpose. So I took on this team just because I saw 130 bases. But really, again, Marquis, his purpose is against extra turn monsters. Whether you're facing an extra turn monster that won't spam extra turn skills, or whether you're facing a Voltic that will spam his extra turn skills, because the AI has no other option. Okay, guys? So that's one thing to consider. So let's move on to the next battle. And let's see who I can find here. We Oh, there's a Charmless. No! Darn it. Oh, another Charmless. Perfect. We will click fight. And we'll see how this battle plays out. We will click fight. And let's check this out. So I get to go first, which is awesome. I get to deny. Um, Do I want to deny, though? I don't think so. So I'm just going to recharge. When light corrupts. And, well, I happen to go before um, the enemy Charmless, but let's, so let's see what I can do. Um, this will potentially kill everyone. This will, wow, this is powerful too. Uh, this is also very powerful. Oh my goodness, let me just recharge. Epic quest, so bam, until the patient kicks in. So when you're running the strength build, and also keep in mind that I am ranked 130, so I do have, look at my power stat now, uh, over 11,000. Yikes. Because of my strength runes, right? Wait, that seems... Increase the monster strength by 78% and 48%. So, if I do attack, this single kills everyone. This just obliterates a lot of people. Let's do the sunburn and burn to everyone. And check out as everything lands. Why did everything land? Well, everything landed because I partnered up my Marquis with Sherizar. And when these two duels are together... Sherizar makes it so my whole team has true vision, meaning I would never miss my attacks. If you saw the last video, for whatever reason, you would have noticed that I kept missing all of my attacks. It was very strange. So I decided, hey, this isn't going to happen this time. Um, Let me recharge. Let me recharge. Oh, I should have done Great Dispel to get rid of it. My favorite trait. Dead. And yeah, I'm just going to exit out. But yeah, truly powerful monster. If you give him high level strength rooms, obviously... He's going to be a killer. Do you need high level strength runes? Uh, it really, really depends. Um, let me try something else. I'm going to just run... Um, gosh, I'm going to just run Fatid. So we have a lot of shielding. And look, fortunately, there's a Voltic. There's a Charmless. This is going to be great. We're going to click fights. And I happen to go first. Um, so I'll let her trigger evasion. That's fine with me. But just to showcase my damage output... Here's a sunburn and burn to everyone. Here is my special based AoE. It deals 28k. This is super powerful. You know, I want to see the damage output on this skill. So let's actually use this skill. It dealt 50k damage. On top of that, it's a blind. On top of that, it's an ignition. Very nice. We're going to recharge. Back to two times speed. We're going to recharge. And epic quest. And I get a turn in. Um, And here is... Oh, darn it. The stun kills. I'm just going to recharge Sweaty Blade until the patient kicks in. I'm going to recharge Hat Thrown until the patient kicks in. And that's the beauty about this monster. Like, again, you don't necessarily need the Strength Runes. Of course, with Strength Runes, it makes it easier to OTK everyone, but not necessarily needed. He has a super high tanky life, higher than a lot of extra turn monsters, higher than a lot of tanks even, which is the funny part. But yeah, you can just keep getting turns as long as you're facing one of those extra turn monsters. So look, there's my trap kicking in. And if I if I if I really pose, let's say that wasn't a Voltic, let's say that was a Flamiron, someone just that I posed as a major threat, and I'm running a strength build. Well, I have this strong seven damage skill that can pretty much OTK whoever I need. That's so amazing. And then I got to be careful right now. Check out my AOE skill. Poison for consonants. Nice, very nice. So I'm gonna exit out. And that was like that's it. That's this is Marquis versus Charles. All right, let's see if I can do any more battles. Ooh, let's take on that Dunra. That'll be fun. Let me do my... Ooh, perfect. All right, daily goals. Gotta love them. All right, so let's do 
this Thalassacane Dunrob base. Before I do that, do I want to go with this team? Yeah, let's go with this team. All right, the Undying one. Let's click Fight. Ooh, lots of high-level runes. So I still got the first turn in. I'm going to start by attacking. Ooh, look at that. I think I can OTK. I can OTK. So this deals 67,000 damage. Once again, on top of that Ignition, on top of that Blind. Oh my goodness. And this is Double Sun. So very likely, very high likelihood to land. I'm going to do this. And because Denra absorbs everything, that is 38 times 3. That is over 100,000 damage to Ra. So she is dead. Kane does Ancestral Bites. Goes over to me. I am simply going to recharge. Let's see what the Lassa does. The Lassa does Arctic Waves, Drowned, and Mega Freeze. That's fine with me. Let's see what Kane does. To new warrior. All right, the last it's up to you again. Abysmal pressure. So I finally get a turn in, and let's test out my skills. This still just obliterates the lassa. She has what 56k life. Let's do it. 46,000. Wow. All right, I am going to just simply recharge. Ancestral bite. I am going to do. Oh, my alt deals very heavy fire damage. Applies Possession, Ignite, and Sunburn. I want to see this skill in action. So, all glory. Let's check this out. Sunburn, Ignition, and it would have been Poison too. That is beautiful. Um, would he survive Major Healing when it turns in? It is healed. I don't think that will kill you. So, I'm going to recharge. Lost 13,000. Oblation Trap kicks in. His Major Healing Essence kicks in. I'm going to recharge. And then I'm going to recharge again. And what I love about Marquis is that he has a strong fire-based attack. But also his AoE, his special-based AoE, it's super powerful too. So for example, look how little damage this does because I'm facing a cane. 11,000. This one is still an impressive 27,000. And then this one, 23,000. But then look at poison. 31,000. And on top of that, it, it would poison. If the enemy was immune to poison. And then this skill is a double stun. So it doesn't matter that what does he have abomination? Okay, if he had like hard and plus or bulwark, it doesn't matter. Thanks to the double stun, high likelihood to land. So yeah, like Marquis, he he's so good. He's like when you compare him to Farday, he pretty much has exactly the skills that Farday has. Well, depending which one you're talking about. So if I talk about the discharger, let me show you his skill set. Like I might have to get rid of these runes on my Farday because I'm gonna be able to use Marquis now. If I go to my skills, and if I take if I take a look at Discomforting Basque, this skill applies Sunburn. Well, Marquis can do Sunburn and Burn. If we look at Clay Belt, this is a single stun. And yes, it's massive earth damage, but if we look at Marquis, he also has a single stun, but he also has the double stun, which is a higher likelihood of landing. And then, yeah, just this monster has an AoE Quicksand, which does deal more DLT, and, but Marquis has a special based skill that applies poison so they're very similar relics once again they can hold the same relics the cool thing is you can use the monsters in different books you can use them whenever they're individually utilized so it's not like just because this monster exists that far day isn't going to be used anymore or vice versa or specifically for free to play players if you don't have fair day hey you now have yourself a fair day like monster very very similar to fair day so what i want to do is actually i'll put him on the team i'll put in my kazoo and let's go into a battle. Look, there's a Voltic right there. And they have a tank. Hopefully she is tanky, actually. She is not that tanky, but that's fine. Ooh. Okay, so we'll click fight. So someone asked what happens if we have two anticipation monsters and there's an extra turn monster in the game. So we're going to find out right now. So ready to hunt. Let me go to times one speed. So Voltic, he'll do an extra turn skill. And watch what happens is I have two. Oh, he didn't do his extra turn heal. Instead, he decided to do the single target attack. So let's times four this real quick. And okay, aggression. So he's just going to be spamming aggression because I have my anticipation monster. So we don't get to see it. But basically all that would have happened is that both of my monsters would have gotten an extra turn. That's it. If I have three anticipation monsters, each and every monster would get an extra turn. That's all that happens. Um, I got an opportunity to do my alt again. So let's do all glory, which again, possesses everyone. Poisons everyone, applies ignition to everyone, sunburns everyone. And the possession, if I'm not mistaken, and look, even my relic activated thanks to the alt. 
if I'm not, yeah, if I'm not mistaken, let's see, ignition is 20%, sunburn is 15, that's 35, and was I wrong about the poison or did it miss? I gotta check that out, but let me exit, and I think we can do one more battle, if there's a good enough battle, I'll buy an attack, let me see, Igursus, no, refresh, I wanna see a really, really good battle, and it, it would've probably been better if I was higher up in the trophies, but that's fine. There was a Voltic there, but it's pretty straightforward, right? You can give this monster strength runes. He can pretty much kill the whole enemy team. You can give this you can give this monster team speed. Ooh, a double Volt. Let's buy the five attacks, or the one attack, and let's take that team on. Um, let me just put Marquis, and let me put in... Who should I put in? I think I'll just do my Sharazar again, just because I want the DOTs to land. And again, I did have trouble in the previous video with the DOTs landing. So, there is one thing about having your monster too strong, right? And that's the fact that you can't really take, um, you can't really take advantage of all of the, the, like, anticipation stuff just because the enemy essentially is gonna die. So, let's recharge it. Like, Voltec is very, very squishy. Like, if there's tanks on the team, there's really nothing I can do. So, aggression, yeah. Okay, that, that one has the extra turn. So, this kicks in. Watch, like, if I do this... All against one. The extra turn monster, the Voltic that I need to stay alive to keep attacking me, he's already dead. That sucks. That really sucks for me. Bam, and this one's not going to do extra turn, so let me just kill him. And yeah, guys, I guess that is going to be it for this video. So this is Marquis. Regardless of whether you get him unranked, whether you get him rank 1, he's going to be a powerful, powerful monster. How do you want to ruin this monster? You have so many options. You saw my Faraday. My Faraday has a single life and two strength. I did that specifically because he's level 100 and I'm constantly taking on 130 bases that, ha that have high level runes. So I needed him built like that. With Marquis, depending what team you're in, you might get him at level 100 or you might get him up to level 120. If he's at 120, you saw his stats earlier in the video, he's going to be a really great monster. He has a really high life stat. You could still give him a single life if you're worried about him dying, but you really don't need it. You could give him two high level strength and he can pretty much kill the enemy in probably two turns. You know, you just bound the, the, the alts back to, not your alts, your specials back to back. You do, you start off with all against one to apply the sunburn and burning. Next turn you do your special based AOE, which also applies poison. And now the enemy will potentially have three DOTs and their damage output is reduced, their accuracy is reduced, and their HP is reducing. So this back to back on a strength through Marquis, the enemy is pretty much dead. But again, you can do team speed, you can do single life and just rely on the DOTs. You can rely on the stunning. What am I personally going to do? I'm still undecided because you also have this skill right here, which is 70 damage, ignition, and blind. So with you can rainbow build this monster. There's like so many ways, and it's all gonna depend on what level you get him in, what kind of league you're in, what kind of opponents you're facing, and then also remember the relics. Depending on what you have, depending on what teammates you partner him up with, the relics will also vary greatly. But yeah, guys, with that being said, this has been an exclusive first look at Marquis de Flambe. He will be released with the upcoming team race. So make sure you try your best in that team race, okay? Make sure you get this monster. With that being said, once again, a huge, huge thanks to Social Point for letting me do this exclusive first look showcase of Marquis the Flambe. I'm Armor Gaming. Thank you all for watching. Let me know your thoughts about this monster in the comments below, and I will see you all next time.